Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hidden Video Game Details. The series that aims to show you things that you may not have known about your favourite games so that you can look really clever in front of your best friend's mum. In today's episode we catch a cold in Battlefield 2042, we take a trip down to Sesame Street in Halo Infinite and we take a quick detour in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. As always if you think you know of a hidden video game detail that I'm yet to cover then the best places to let me know are are in the comments section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Oh, and leaving a like lets me know that you enjoy my content. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So in the last episode of this series, we discovered that the fire extinguishers in mind-bending puzzle game Superliminal had very strange instructions. These instructions included telling you to put the extinguisher down and accept reality which isn't the best advice when facing a fire. Well, it turns out that Superliminal isn't the only game to feature a strange fire extinguisher. The fire extinguishers in the super creepy Outlast 2 start off simple enough with standard extinguisher instructions. It's not until we reach the final step that we're told to squeeze the handle to operate, release handle to stop and scream. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I love details like this in video games. Next up is a detail from the excellent Wolfenstein The Old Blood. Now a big part of the Wolfenstein reboots is the ability to pick up health and armour as you tear your way through enemies. Usually this means scavenging the surrounding area looking for food or pieces of dropped armour. But there is a way to create armour where there wasn't any before. If you approach a downed enemy and hit them on their helmet covered head, this will happen. So the helmet will fall off the dead soldier's head, allowing you to pick it up and use it for yourself. I've played all of the Wolfenstein reboots and I never knew about this detail until recently. So this next detail is a real blast from the past. Sonic Heroes was released in 2003 for the GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox and PC. As you'd expect, Heroes is a platformer, though instead of playing as Sonic, you get to choose a team to play as, including Team Rose, Team Chaotix and Team Dark. Well, for today's detail, we need to take control of Team Dark, which consists of Shadow the Hedgehog, new character E123 Omega and Rogue the Bat. Now, for some reason, you can enter first person mode in a Sonic game. No, I don't know why you'd need to do that either. Anyway, if you enter first person mode and look at Rogue, she will do this. So Rogue will flash a flirty wink in your direction. I'll let you guys decide how that makes you feel. Now, you may remember a few episodes back where we discovered some strange map locations in past Halo games, including a romantic spot called Makeout Point in Halo Reach. Well, with the release of the Halo Infinite multiplayer last week, there are now even more weird and wonderful map callouts to find. First up on the Deadlock map, you can find this. So this location called Yup, This Is Death is actually a callback to the first Halo Infinite campaign gameplay shown in 2020. Yep, this is death. <laughs> Next up on the streets map, you can find this. So standing in these trash cans means that you're apparently standing on Oscar's house. So who is Oscar? Well, this is a reference to Oscar the Grouch from the kid show Sesame Street, where Oscar famously lives in a trash can. Oh, and the exact same location can be seen on the plaza map in Halo 5 Guardians. The final Halo Infinite detail, well, for today's video at least, can be heard when selecting your AI. If you preview Fret's voice, there's a chance that it will do this. Here goes nothing. So Fret will hum the Halo theme song. It's a really nice touch. Now, a few of you have been asking that I cover Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy in this series, but the truth is, I've only recently started playing it. The Avengers game was such a big letdown, 
well to me at least, that I didn't think that Guardians of the Galaxy would be any better. Well it turns out I was wrong, and I mean really wrong. Guardians of the Galaxy is a great single player action game that washes away the bad taste that the Avengers game left in my mouth. Now I have no doubt that Guardians of the Galaxy has loads of cool details, but I'm not actually that far into the game yet, so I've only managed to notice just the one detail so far. But it is a really, really cool detail. In Guardians of the Galaxy, you have the option to select your response to certain characters in conversations. What's really cool is, these characters will actually notice your actions as they are speaking to you. So here is a scene from early on in the game where you are with Nikki. If you select the encourage her option and take a quick detour, Nikki will say this. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. Are you seriously trying to sneak away on me right now? You literally just said I was doing great. You are doing great. Top five best arresting officers I've ever had. Cool. So can you please just show me the same respect you would any other arresting officer? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. Here is the same scene, though this time I selected the take control option. People around here do that already. Look, there's the adult in the room. <laughs> adult isn't exactly how my mom described you. This is your idea of acting like an adult crawling into a dead end? I'm investigating our options. It's a super adult thing to do. Your options are follow my lead or stay stuck down here forever. And there's even dialogue if you choose not to say anything. Enough people around here do that already. Uh, what do you think you're doing? You are in violation of so many regulations right now. What are you gonna do? Tell your mom on me? Yes. Okay, yeah, uh, I'd actually prefer if that didn't happen. Honestly, if the rest of the game has this level of detail, you can expect to see Guardians featured in future episodes of this series. So to end today's video, let's take a look at Battlefield 2042. Now, I'm not quite sure what to think of 2042. On the one hand, it's a Battlefield game, and on the other, it just doesn't feel like one. I can't quite put my finger on it and perhaps after a few patches it will be a lot better. But for now, I've spent most of my time playing Battlefield Portal, which lets you play previous Battlefield games, which is awesome. So even though I'm not quite sure what to think of 2042, that doesn't mean I haven't found a couple of really cool details. First up, if you go AFK, there is a chance that this will happen. <laughs> So there is a chance that your character will sneeze. Now this does take a long time to happen, and it's not always guaranteed to happen before you're disconnected from the server. In fact, on one occasion, my character sneezed and then I was immediately disconnected from the game. Still, it's a really cool detail. The final Battlefield 2042 detail can be seen whenever you throw C5. After pressing the detonator, several messages will appear on the detonator screen. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. Remember, if you are a fan of Easter egg secrets and tiny details in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Be sure to follow me on my social media accounts. The links to those are in the description. And also be sure to let me know of any hidden details or Easter eggs that you think I've missed. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.